Here is a quick walkthrough on how runtime virtual textures can be used to create footprints in a snow landscape. This material will draw a footprint into the runtime virtual texture and it will go into the base color input and the opacity input of the runtime virtual texture output onto the snow material. So you just have a tiling for the roughness which is just a noise texture the displacement is made by inverting the runtime virtual texture samples base color as if nothing's drawn to it, it will be black. Uh, we want a white to increase the height of this, so when something does get drawn to it, we can use that black uh, to push the snow down. And just for the base color, I use that same uh, base color virtual texture sample output as alert between the snow color and a darker version of it. Onto the plane to draw the footprint. Uh, yeah, it's just a plane with no lighting set, no collision, and under render to virtual textures I just add our runtime virtual texture slot there. Onto the spawner that I've put placed at both the third person character's foots. We have the event tick, uh, just has a delay, and then checks if uh, it has moved uh, after this delay, so previous location, uh, yeah, does a test against that, then it'll just spawn this blueprint actor, and it will tell its rotation to be what the player's current rotation is. And the runtime virtual texture was placed in the scene and then converted to a blueprint. Here's what that looks like. And that can be done by just searching for it in here and placing the bounds. Copy that, scale it up, and then convert selection to blueprint class. Thanks for watching.